In this demonstration, we will take a look at enthalpy, entropy, and free energy. It's a very elegant demonstration in its simplicity, but there's such a great deal that's going on with it. What this demonstration will exemplify is an exothermic reaction having a negative delta H with a negative entropy change. Now, as we know, the release of energy is favorable to the universe. It's a, it's a natural process. It's the one that's most favored. It's desirable from the universe. So we're looking at a negative delta H. The universe moves towards entropy, so a positive delta S is usually favored. In this particular demonstration, we're going to see a negative delta H, and we're also going to see a negative delta S. And the reaction will take place spontaneously. In order to show that reaction, we're going to take 100 milliliters of distilled water. And with that, we're going to generate some carbon dioxide gas by dropping Alka-Seltzer tablets into the water. This is one alternative to generating carbon dioxide gas. Some of you in your laboratories may have access to a carbon dioxide tank. If that is the case, you can just run a hose into it and flush the bottle with carbon dioxide, and you don't have to um, generate the carbon dioxide with the Alka-Seltzer. But we're going to do that here just to show the method um, for liberating carbon dioxide gas from the Alka-Seltzer tablet. So we'll get these, and I'm using six Alka-Seltzer Alka tablets and 100 milliliters of water. I've broken them up just so that they fit in the opening of the two liter bottle. I'm going to seal that up so we trap that carbon dioxide in there. I'm going to give it a shake right now just to make sure that we've got those pretty well dissolved. And I can feel that bottle getting rigid. And to that reaction, I'm going to add a touch of phenolphthalein. Now, that's going to give me a little pressure there from that. I'm going to add a little phenolphthalein. Now, we know that that is carbonic acid down there, so I should get a color. So I'm adding about five to seven drops of phenolphthalein. I'm going to let those CO2 tablets react in there. Well, that's getting rigid again. I'm going to measure out 100 milliliters. I have measured out 100 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, one molar. As I react that, the CO2 is go in the gas is going to react with the OH negative ions in the sodium hydroxide. You should see a color change, and you should see something rather dramatic happen to the bottle. So I'm going to take that lid off of there. All of my Alka-Seltzer tablets are now gone. I'm going to release. And that bottle will implode on the sides so that I'm losing the carbon dioxide gas. As I lose the carbon dioxide gas from that, there's not as much pressure on the sides of the container. The carbon dioxide gas has been reacted, so now it's connected to something down in solution. I feel the bottle. It's a little bit warm to the touch. So if you're talking about reactions, uh, how do I know a chemical reaction takes place? I've got color. I've got energy. I've got a gas. And then we can talk about this in terms of en enthalpy and entropy. So if you follow me to the board, we'll look at some of the numbers behind this. The net ionic equation is as such. I've got my carbon dioxide gas reacting with the hydroxide ions in solution. They're making hydrogen carbonate here, a negative one. That's aqueous. That lowers my pressure, my partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The equilibrium for this is such that if I look at this, I've got my products over reactants. I've got the hydrogen carbonate ion. It's such a large K value, it lies so very far to the right towards the products that even at very low levels of carbon dioxide, the reaction is still going to proceed to the right. The values up here, if I were to measure this and take a quantitative interpretation of it, my delta H is a negative 68.49, so it's exothermic. 
the entropy is negative 111.8, that means it's actually becoming more organized. There is less probable states that the carbon dioxide can be in. As a gas, there's many, many microstates. It can be many possible positions for it. When it's trapped in the aqueous hydrogen carbonate ion, now there aren't as many possible positions that it can take place. So my entropy is actually decreasing. It is a spontaneous reaction. It will take place at our normal range of temperatures here. It is a negative delta G, gives free energy. It's a negative, tells me it's spontaneous. And therefore, the driving factor behind this, if I look at delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, and so as we can see, it's the enthalpy process that drives the reaction, not the entropy process in this case. And so we have the collapsing bottle. It's a very, very easy reset on the demo. Not much chemicals used altogether. And it shows the relationship between delta H, delta G, and delta S quite nicely with many different um, aspects of chemical reaction in there. Thank you.